you've got Jesus in your life. You know who you are. You know where you're going. You know why you're here on the earth. But I'll tell you something. One day, you will stand in front of a holy God and he will say, depart from me. I never, ever knew you. Never knew you. And I'd be screaming. I'd be screaming if I didn't know God. I'd be terrified because them angels will cast me into hell. But I'm telling you something now. Turn to God. Turn to him. Well, you've got a chance. Stop playing around. Stop messing with God. Because one day, you might leave this earth tonight. Where are you going to go? You're playing games with God, a holy God. And he says, stop it. Stop it. Every one of you, turn to him now. Stop playing with him. Stop messing with him. Who do you think you are? God says, turn to him, repent. Repent means, God, I'm sorry. What do you think he's saying? Sorry, I'm forgiven. What do you think of him? What he's saying? God, I'm lost. I don't understand it all properly with God and that. Come with all your garbage. Come with all your filth. Because God's not interested in your filth. I do believe in God, yeah. Well, can I tell you a story? He's interested in you. This lady, she went to be a, a prostitute in Puerto Rico. She was a young girl. He loves she you left so her mum. She doesn't want you to be. Her mum was distraught. Went to Puerto Rico to try and find her. Couldn't forever. find her. We can't comprehend yeah. 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 it. Wow. So anyhow. She walked round, the mum walked round, couldn't find God her, so she left pictures of herself in all the shops, hotels. God made she come home crying, I can't find my daughter. Her daughter came downstairs, got in a hotel with a client, goes in the then toilet, sees a picture of her mum. She looks at the picture, and God it's my mum, and it said this at the back of the handwriting, at the back you. of the picture, it said this. God bless you. I don't care what you have done, come home. That's what he's preaching. He's preaching. Christ died on a cross. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. Anything you've ever done, have you ever lied? We've all told white yeah, lies. Yeah, I've lied, I've lied, we've all lied. Well, no, not big lies, no. But, no, but no. whatever wrong you've done. No, no, as I've grown, grown older, yeah. I, don't, I don't tell white lies and nothing, no, no. I always tell the truth, mate. But have you ever looked at a woman in lust? No. Have you ever taken, got drunk? Right, right. Used to be alcohol. <laughs> right. So instead of God punishing you, when they arrested Jesus and whipped him, yeah. he's being whipped for you. When he was put on the cross, Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. This so, man knows a bit about so, it. Uh, can I just tell you? So Christ, when you was on that cross, every time you got drunk, every time you did something wrong, He's on that cross taking your punishment for you. And then he says to you, come home. Say, you know, I've I've done wrong, but forgive me, Lord. But he'd already died when I was gone. He'd but already he gone, so he would take no punishment for me. But he did as your saviour. Well, they do say, yeah, he's sacrificed. He's your saviour. You see, the reason why he's your saviour is he never sinned, he was perfect. So, it's like, have you got a girlfriend? Yeah. Right. Imagine you were doing your car and you had an oily... Oh yeah, congratulations man. So you get this girl, your girlfriend, you're doing fixing the car, you got oil on your t-shirt. You hug the girl, what's going to happen? All the oil on your dirty white t-shirt is going to go on there. Right? When you come before God... But she, she won't mind though because it's, come, it's me. Alright, but when you come before God... Sometimes she likes me to see me like a grease monkey. Because <laughs> I'm always mauling about it. <laughs> but when you come before God, your heart's like a dirty oily t-shirt. Yeah. And he's clean. Yeah, I understand. So what he does, now you take your dirty oily t-shirt off and you put a nice clean white t-shirt on. You come before your girlfriend, you hug her, she's going to be a lot more happy that way yeah. than with the oil. The moment you believe in Jesus, he's like your white t-shirt. You see, so when you come before God, he doesn't look at your dirty, oily heart. He looks at Jesus because Jesus is your saviour. Yeah. Do you get it? It's like forgiveness. That's it. So yeah. do, do you get it now? Yeah, I do, man. Do you get it? 
soul, that forgiveness is here for you right now. Now, if I give you a hundred pound now on your birthday, would you take it? Yeah, as a gift, as, as my friend, as a friend to you. On your birthday? No, because I don't want to do it. No, but if you did know me, I'd say I was the best friend. I'd say the, car the card's more important to me because thought counts. Okay, so I give a gift. Of, I give a card and you'd be grateful it's nice for it. Nice to have a gift. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But to me, on my birthdays and things like that, maybe when I was younger, yeah, presents. Yeah, you're happy and all but, that, and yeah. What about if your kidney packed in? Your kidney's packed in and you were going to die. But I, being your best mate, says you can have one of my kidneys. Just one. And if you have one, it'll save you. Would you take it? Yeah, I probably yeah, would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, God's given you a kidney. It's called Jesus. Yeah. You take him, you get eternal life. You reject him, and it's caboose. Yeah, yeah. So understands. that is offered to you freely. Doesn't matter. If you're black, white, doesn't matter who you are, it's a free gift, it, it's for you, because he loves you. We're all, to me, we're all, we're all the same. Do you know what I mean? It's like racism. I don't believe in racism. Do you know what I mean? It's just we're a all different colour. That's all it is. I hate racism. I do, I hate racism. I do. So, I don't like it. so do you understand like what I'm saying about Jesus dying for you? And that if you believe him, and you say, Lord, forgive me. I know I've made mistakes, but I know that you loved and died for me. Lord, will you come into my life? He'll come into your life. He'll forgive you. Anything you've ever done is wiped clean. You become a new creature. He's got a gospel when I was about 10 or 11 or something. Uh, but you be these take us out on trips and that on Fridays, these take us balling and things like that. But when we was in the church, I, I found it quite interesting. It was interesting. Uh, and that, well, I'm not good at explaining me and that, so it's like what you told me now, but I can explain to someone else if you know what I But, but does upstairs it stuck. But can you. Does so that the message I've told you is called the good news, the gospel. Yeah. Does that make sense now? Yeah, it does, mate. Anyway, does that I'm make sense? Well, there. will you think about it and, and think about giving your life to Jesus? All you have to do is say, Lord, this is all you have to do. You don't have to go to church, put a suit on. It's just you and God. You just say, Lord, I heard that guy. I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Please come into my life. And he'll come into your life. But make, don't go your way. There comes a time when you've got to say, Lord, I'm yielding to you. Because if we go the wrong way, we go off the path. Yeah. If we do it the Frank Sinatra, I did it my way, yeah. we just go kapush. Yeah. So it's I've been doing the wrong path. Yeah. It's best to hand over to Jesus and let him use you. Because you've got a good heart and he wants to use you. There's things for you to do in this life. There's people who need you and you're the man that God wants to use. But you can't do it your way, you've got to give up and give in. I say, Lord, you died for me. I can't dodge you anymore. You've caught me. I'm yours. Would you believe I committed attempted armed robbery? Would you believe I went to Yeah. Would you believe I went to strange ways? Would you believe when I was a kid I was always on acid taps? Taking speed. I wouldn't. So we are. So God could change me. And he can give you peace. And he can make you make a difference in your life. You know, otherwise it's just, I'm not saying you, it's just filling our lives with whatever it is. Sex, drugs, whatever. Alcohol, gossiping about people, whatever it is. We're just filling with crap. And it's time to say, no, I've had enough crap. I want some goodness in my life. When I came out of Strangeways and I went to church, my mum my was coming out of the job as witness. And she said, uh, someone was helping her out of it. Cause it's a cult. She said, go to Eddie's church. So I go to this church. It's like I'm, like, I'm like you, just an ordinary guy. I goes there, oh, oh my goodness, I saw Bible bashes, they're all nuts. And, and the elder said, we're having a Bible study tonight at his house. Evolution is false and God created the world. And I thought, this guy's nuts. I suppose when you're in prison as well, though, you study the Bible. Yeah, yeah. 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 You do, you study. So, so eventually, I slowly gave my heart to the Lord and I went to see my mate Dobsey, who's one of the... Drug dealers in. Um, I've heard of some of God, <laughs> in all I have, mate. I have heard <laughs> So I went to see Dobsey, and he's in his flat, and he's got loads of mates. They're all drug dealers. 
with that with the with the dogs and everything. I went, Dobsy, I'm giving my heart to Jesus. He went with the spliff, he went. Bernsey, just trust in yourself, mate. Yeah. You know, and I looked and I thought, is that what I want? And I thought that's not the way. Want, you didn't want that. I didn't want that. And if I if I wouldn't have found God, I'd have committed suicide, I'd have taken drugs and killed myself. I'd have gone fighting and got stabbed. <laughs> Something would have happened to me, I wouldn't have been here today. But God slowly changed me. Yeah. Very slowly. It's like I mean, I keep myself to myself. I've got new misses and that. Do you know what I mean? It's, I don't worry, I don't thieve. That's good, that's good, that's good. But, but it's, a, it's, a new, it's a new life. You know when you take, take something, it gives you a buzz. You, you know, like when I was a kid, you well, now I've got new buzzes. I can go on holidays. And, yeah, you know what I mean. But, it's, <laughs> it's a you get a buzz doing good things. But when you put your faith in Jesus, you get a buzz that will be there and satisfy you, and 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 it's better than anything. Yeah, it's better than sliced bread. Anyway, mate, I've got to go. All right, God bless you. Thanks God a lot. Thanks you. for listening. Yeah, okay. take care, mate. God bless you, mate.